The demonstrations that followed Belarusian President Lukashenko's contested re-election have so far resulted in the death of at least two protesters and detention of thousands. The government's heavy-handed response to the protests has prompted the EU Foreign Affairs Council to task their foreign policy unit with preparing a list of officials to be sanctioned. On Thursday, and perhaps in anticipation of possible international action, the Belarusian leadership began releasing thousands of detainees and issued a rare public apology in a bid to ease nationwide protests that posed the biggest challenge to strongman Lukashenko's 26-year rule. For those who got beaten, I, as a commander, must take responsibility and apologize for injuries of random people at the protests who got hit in the neck. Those released described being tightly packed into cells, and some showed bruises on their bodies. The cell is designed for five people. Initially, there were 25 of us there. After that, they started adding and taking away groups of around five people at a time, like a factory line. The whole night, you could hear people being beaten outside. I was pushed in a police truck. They told me either you go with us for 15 days or we beat your legs up and let you go. Belarusian opposition leader Tikhanuskaya, who fled to neighboring Lithuania for her own safety, urged her supporters to sign up to an online campaign demanding a recount of votes and encouraging them to maintain their street protests. We need to stop the violence on the streets of Belarusian cities. I call on the government to stop this and come to the negotiating table. I ask all town mayors to act as organizers of peaceful mass events in each town on 15th and 16th of August. Workers from state-run industrial plants also joined thousands of people on a sixth day of protests a worrying development for the authorities. Although the government's rhetoric has softened, Lukashenko has shown no appetite for compromise. But a combination of looming international sanctions and a sustained period of unprecedented domestic defiance may force a rethink. Mehmet Somas, TRT World. <laughs>